I'm going to show you quickly how I made it. This is, uh, I believe, three quarter inch oak dowel with a screw eye in the end of it. Just drill a hole and put in a screw eye. Use like a, a, a D link there to connect it to actually five different sizes of chain. They progressively get smaller and smaller. They're wired together just using aluminum wire. And I got five sections tapering all the way down and uh, to here. And then I've got a just a standard uh, number 18 twisted nylon uh, cracker. Uh, it's 33 inches long, over twisted it, then doubled it over and tied a knot, as is typical on most uh, uh, whips. Um, this whole, the chain part of this, is roughly, including the D-link, about 82 inches long. And the reason for making this is to, uh, number one, just to do something different. I'd like to do that. The other is to see if... Uh, I could make something where you had maximum flexibility and uh, something resistant to moisture because this is all stainless steel except for the aluminum wire wiring it together. So uh, humidity shouldn't impact it. Um, the uh, a leather bullwhip say you got issues of age of it, the leather conditioner, humidity. This is completely unaffected by any of those. So I've already tested this. And what I found is that uh, with the cracker, it makes a crack so loud it's like a gunshot. It works extremely well. Uh, without the cracker, absolutely nothing. Um, so the question is why? You know, as a wave propagates down through the, the whip, in whichever way it's, it's, it's been used, Due to conservation of momentum, this being higher mass, you get a lot of momentum here as the mass gets less and less in the smaller chain, the velocity increases, velocity increases. So the idea is that uh, when you get to the end of the whip, it's so fast it breaks the sound barrier. Well, if that's true, why doesn't this break the sound barrier without the cracker? It's a good question. So we're going to look into that, but the next uh, couple of... Uh, um, minutes of video is going to be just showing you demonstrating how it cracks with and without this cracker we're going to test our whip it's not a bull whip not really a stock whip it's more like a stock whip though with this uh, all these degrees of freedom here on this this handle um, and this has this standard cracker just standard nylon cracker we're going to see how it does by the way, these are Z87 safety glasses, and there's no one around me, no animals, no kids, no anybody. I would not, you've got to be very careful with this chain. If a piece were to fly off, it'd be like shrapnel. So we're going to give it a try and see how it cracks. Okay, cracks pretty good. Now we're going to remove the uh, cracker. I'm not an expert whip cracker, as anybody can watch me can tell. But uh, the only thing different, same whip, but without the uh, cracker. Now all we have is just chain, no, uh, no nylon cracker, zero crack. Interesting. We're going to explore a little bit further in an upcoming video why that cracker makes such a dramatic difference. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you.